Hello everyone, welcome to another session. So in this session, I am going to demonstrate about the cache journal in SAP. So generally, this cache journal in SAP is used to handle the cash transaction uh, in the organization, uh, whether it be cash payment or cash receipt and all those things. In SAP, we have a cash journal program it will handle all the cash withdrawal from bank deposit and cash payment to vendor and cash receipt from customer and these functionalities and it also shows the open and closing balances of uh, the each cash journal and uh, with the help of uh, this cash journal for one company code we can create multiple cash journals and uh, yeah that's it uh, let's get started now uh, we'll go you i will go to the spro path first First of all, I will explain all the uh, configuration and then I will post uh, some documents and I will show you the uh, practically I will show you. So here SAP Reference IMG, Financial Accounting and here Bank Accounting and then Business Transactions and here it is Cash Journal. So in the Cash Journal, first of all, we have to, the first check would be we have to create one post automatically GL account. So in my case, I have already created that one cash journal account. So this must be as a post automatically and then and then define document type for cash journal. So SAP has by default a standard given uh, document type is SK uh, for the cash documents. So I will be leveraging this document type here in this cash journal configuration so again one step one more step come back and here uh, define number range interval for cash journal documents so here we have to enter the company code and then just mention the number range here and then save it and then the fourth step would be define numbering group for cash journal so with the help of this step we can differentiate whether this document is my cash payment or a cash receipt or cash withdrawal we can uh, differentiate the document number so i will be taking this one payment and cash receipt save it then go one step back and define number range for numbering group so whatever the groups we have created for those groups we have to maintain the number range so for the cash receipt I'm mentioning 01 2024 and 3 series number and step back and for the cash payments i'm mentioning the six, two series document number and then click on save go and step back and then set up the cash journal this is the main step the uh, fifth step we are we have to perform execute this one and then click on new entries here and then here mention your company code 2000 and then cash journal number 2001 okay and then gl account we have to mention uh, uh, the GL account which we have created as a post automatically this is the GL account which I have created and then here the currency the company code currency we can use UST and the document type for uh, GL posting 
document type is key carriage channel document and document type for uh, key okay for here also we can use as key once again this is for uh, vendor payment so i can use a uh, key jit this is a document key jit customer digit and digit and so we have created the cash payment groups right so for the payment uh, i need to select the payment one and for the receipt this is not required and here we need to mention the cash on the name and then hit enter and then click on save then go one step back here okay and then go one more step back and then here the maintain business transactions and this is the last step we have to perform and then here click on new entries and here first of all select the business uh, transactions like in my case i will be selecting a receipt from bank account which means a cash withdrawal and payment to bank account cash deposit and expenses and customer posting and vendor posting i will select now cbe tk okay c D for customer and K. Company code we have to select. So here we need to select the GL account relevant GL account for these two for these three things: uh, cash uh, withdrawal. Let me write the cash withdrawal and a cash payment and this one is office expenses and this is my customer and this is my vendor so here we will select this uh, gl accounts now for the cash withdrawal this is my cash withdrawal account cash payment means okay cash deposit to bank cash deposit and then here are uh, office expenses for the office expenses i have created an expense gl account And then for these two accounts, uh, we don't require uh, the GL accounts. So we will be maintaining the vendor and customer details, right? So just hit enter. Okay, what accounting transaction name cash is not already exists? Select a new name. Okay. Deposit and expenses. okay then click on save here data has been saved now now go one step back and one more step back 
and till now the configuration has been completed now we can perform the end user activity to perform the end user activity we need to enter the transaction code uh, fbcj now this is my company code and my cash journal number is 2001 so here you can see the balance is zero now so first of all we need to cash withdrawal we have to perform so for that i am performing the cash withdrawal the amount of uh, 10,000 and then i need to mention the profit center here i'll be taking the admin profit center and then hit enter so here uh, system has been saved the document so here we can save seal when you click on save seal it will be in park uh, position just ignore this one it will be park so everything is good then we can again select and click on uh, post seal otherwise we can directly uh, click on post seal as well no issues now the document has been posted now now here we can see the cash receipt has been 10,000 we have we have uh, in our cash journal we have uh, 10,000 USD now we can make the payments to expense payment or vendor payments we can do now so I will post one expense payment now so for that I will be selecting office expenses with the amount of 2,000 USD and then and then i need to mention the cost center here okay so the my cost center is same at the and then hit enter and then you select this one and click on directly post field instead of uh, parking you can also directly post it just click on post so here you can see my cash receipt is 10,000 and I have done the cash payments of 2,000. Now my closing balance is 8,000. So I will be showing one more example uh, with the vendor. So I will be selecting this vendor here. to 3,000. And then I will be selecting here my supplier. and then enter the cost center it's in uh, let's post it directly then click on post field and it's posted now now here we can see so my total cash payments has been 5000 and the, my remaining closing balance is 5000 so initially i have done the cash receipt cash withdrawal from the bank account we can say like that 10,000 and then I have in my cash in hand I have 10,000 so I have paid total uh, 5,000 cash payments and remaining 5,000 I have in my hand so you can also see the documents let me open control N So at the time of uh, configuration we have selected document type sk so we can check the documents whether it posted to sk document type or not so i will be mentioning here my financial year 2024 and document type will be sk and then click on execute so here we can see two documents we have with the document type sk one would be 10,001 another would be So 10,000 with one cash withdrawal and the other document is uh, one document with 2,000 cash journal expenses we have collected and the third document which we have uh, posted uh, it would be with the KR document type sorry digit document type let me show you the document type as well KJ and click on execute here So this is the document cash journal account 3000 and uh, vendor account 
debited 3000 so this is the process of uh, creating the doing the configuration of cache journal and the end user process in sap real time scenario so that's all in this section i hope you have uh, now one clear clarity about the cache journal what is a cache journal and how to create it and uh, how end user has will perform the transactions in cache journal that's all in this section thank you so much